My name is Matt Layton and welcome to Country Club Hills. We're in one of the most prestigious neighborhoods in Arlington and in Northern Virginia. The houses are huge, the lots are massive, you can actually get a yard, and we're in a convenient location close to DC. So let's do this, let's explore the neighborhood, learn a little bit more about the history, and check out some real estate. To understand the neighborhood, we need to know where we are. Country Club Hills is located just north of Washington Golf and Country Club, just east of Glebe Road. Dittmar Road borders it on the north, and you'll have Vermont Street on the east. The neighborhood has about 500 homes. It's not really large in terms of the number of homes, but it's large in terms of geographic area. It was originally plotted on 126 acres of land around the 1920s to the 1940s. So you have a lot of homes that are about 70 years old or so, but that's starting to change. Let me show you what I mean. You see a lot of this, a lot of new builds, a lot of teardowns, a lot of new construction, and the new homes are spectacular. Think about it this way, the average lot size in Country Club Hills is around a quarter of an acre up to maybe almost half an acre. So to put that in perspective, that's gonna be about twice the size as you know, Cherrydale, Lion Park, Lion Village, so the lot sizes are huge. You have so much potential here. This is actually a smaller lot, but you have so much potential that as you can imagine, the new homes that they build here on these large lots are gonna be huge. So what makes Country Club Hills so prestigious? That teardown that we we're just looking at will turn into a six or seven bedroom, 5,000 square foot mansion, state of the art, everything. And the neighborhood is consistently being ranked as number one as the highest sales prices for single family homes in Arlington. So it's obviously expensive from that point of view, but what's cool about the neighborhood is those 1920s to 1950s houses are very usable houses. You do have the teardowns, but a lot of the ones, because of the style, have just been added to and are elegant and are stately, where you have this nice juxtaposition of the older homes with the new modern builds, because if you go up the street, you know, you might only have two and three bedroom ramblers from the World War II era, where here you have the newer homes, but you also have a lot of really nice expanded older homes. Now, what's it like actually living in the neighborhood? Well, first of all, it's quiet. You don't have that many busy roads. You have Glebe Road that borders the neighborhood, but doesn't actually go into the neighborhood. When people turn into Country Club Hills, it's because they want to turn into Country Club Hills. They're not trying to get to the next neighborhood or to get to the Metro stop. I grew up in Lion Park, tons of cut through streets, and that's just the way it is in the neighborhood. Not so much in Country Club Hills. If anything, the traffic that you're gonna get is from a construction worker is taking a wrong turn down the wrong cul-de-sac. Country Club Hills, you have two busy roads on either side, and then you have a lot of dead end turns, and it's very windy, and it's very easy to get lost. Ask me how I know. Okay, so we've talked about the neighborhood, the location, the real estate, the geography, the rolling hills and whatnot. Now let's get into the top three things that you need to know about living in Country Club Hills. Number one is Washington Golf and Country Club, the country club that borders the neighborhood and it dates back to the late 1890s. It was actually the first golf club in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Now let's get one thing straight, you don't have to be a member of the country club to live in the neighborhood. You're still gonna have friends. It's up to you. But if you are a member, you can still enjoy the country club. It's a five minute walk or it's a five minute drive to go play some golf or to go play tennis or to go hang out, go to the pool, whatever you wanna do. Now, a source told me that there is a pretty long waiting list uh, if you wanna be a member, so keep that in mind. Another source told me that the golf course is under construction. So I think that's right. And one more thing to note is that this is a cool area with the geography because what they do on the 4th of July, uh, in 2015 I was here for the 4th of July and they actually had fireworks shooting off from the golf course and the whole neighborhood comes along this street right here and everyone's hanging out, having a good time. So it's just one more sort of community event where everyone can get together, hang out and have a fun time. Number two is large everything, larger homes, larger lot sizes. Everything's just a bigger portion in Country Club Hills. And you know, a lot of people have lived here for a very long time. You're starting to see that housing changeover in inventory. And furthermore, since the lot sizes are so big and people have lived here for such a long time, you're seeing those lot sizes being subdivided, those lots being subdivided by developers. So where there is one old home on a very large lot, you now see two brand new houses. And what makes Country Club Hills so expensive is that it has everything that the buyer wants. 
you have a large home, you have a nice yard, you're at the end of a cul-de-sac, you know, there's no cut-through traffic, you have great schools, there's a country club, you have everything, you have a convenient location right near DC. So you have all this mixing together, which makes Country Club Hills one of the most sought after expensive neighborhoods in Arlington. Number three is the hills. You know, sometimes you go to a neighborhood and it's named after an old railroad station or after a stream. And then you go to the neighborhood and there's no railroad station, there's no stream. And you wonder how the neighborhood get its name. Well, with Country Club Hills, you know how it got its name. When you come here, you have a lot of hills, a lot of winding roads, a lot of steep grade. Level your expectations, pun intended, on the type of property that you're gonna find in terms of flat land. Yes, you can find some flat land here in Country Club Hills, but for the most part, there's a lot of hills going on here, guys, and there's a lot of winding roads and, and you know a cul-de-sac and whatnot, dead-end streets, but that's what makes the neighborhood cool. That's what gives it character. That's what sets it apart from other neighborhoods in Arlington. If you want a bland, basic, boring, flat neighborhood, you know, probably not the right neighborhood for you. Lots of different terrain going on here. So those are the top three things to know about Country Club Hills. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you learned something, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest real estate video. And if you're looking to purchase a home in Country Club Hills, I'd be honored to earn your business. You can give me a call. My contact details are below. Until next time, create a productive day. Take care.